All right, guys, welcome back. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to cover Android activities. Uh, go ahead and launch Android Studio. Shortcut from my previous tutorial. Oh, shoot. What happened here? Okay, so something happened. Uh, I think my shortcut wasn't placed right. So let me go ahead and there it is. Anyways, go ahead and launch Android Studio. We're going to go ahead and create a new project. Let's do an empty activity. We can go ahead and call this first app. And the language we're going to use here is Kotlin. You know, you want to get in the habit of using the up-to-date languages because we're only headed forwards. So you want to make sure that you, uh, uh, if you're coming from Java, you want to know, you want to make sure that you slowly uh, migrate over to Kotlin because that is, well, you know, that is the official language for Android. So you should be using Kotlin. And there's going to be a lot of jobs that are trying to migrate Java over into Kotlin. So that's why I chose to do this course in Kotlin to keep you guys up to speed. All right. So right here, we can go ahead and click finish. All right. So after everything loads, you should see a main activity Kotlin file here. And you should see a activity main XML file. If you guys are not familiar with XML, don't worry about it. It's easy to learn and I will explain everything to you as we move on. So now an activity is a crucial component in the Android app. So this is uh, where all the code gets uh, launched from. I mean, so this is this main activity is where the code is going to be launched. So like if you're familiar with, you know, doing Java and stuff like that, you'll launch the code, you'll execute the code from the main uh, function. So this is going to be right here in this on create is it's the code that gets ex executed. So uh, and inside the activity main, you can think of it as what you see on the screen as far as like the UI. So you see this text view right here. This is, let's see, you see, let's zoom in. Hello world. This is like the UI components that we're going to start adding. This is what you're going to see on the screen as a user of the app. Okay, so now I want you to think of uh, the main activity as the window of the app that is showing the UI components. So say for instance, like you see how we have, oops, sorry about that. You see how we have a uh, set content view. So it's like the window of the app that, that displays this uh, XML file right here. And also this main activity <clears throat> can also call another activity which will be a window again that will be overlaid over this main activity so it'd be like a stack of cards right so you'll have main activity and then from main activity you can call another activity and this main activity will be in the back like a stack of cards and then you'll have another window that's being displayed but not with the same layout you'll have a different layout for that other activity uh, as we go through it you will uh, get a good grasp on how things are so that's only two parts though okay so we have our activity we have our activity main XML layout but in order for an activity to be shown and be used it has to be registered in the manifest so let's take a look at the manifest the manifest all right so for the Android manifest so every app project must have an Android manifest and the manifest file describes essential information about your app to the Android build tools and the Android uh, operating system in the Google Play. We'll later on dive more into this, but right now I want you to focus on this section, the activity section. Like I was saying previously, uh, how the main activity is like a window that's holding the UI components that what you can see on the screen. And that main activity can call another activity that we're going to be creating. So in the manifest, we're going to add it inside of this activity uh, tree right here. OK, so well, let's do this. Let's let me see. Let's go ahead and add. Actually, Android Studio will actually add it on there for you. Uh, but I'm actually going to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and go to file. Uh, actually, where are we at? Okay, <laughs> we want to go to file new and then we want to go all the way down to activity. So we're going to go to, let's go ahead and add a empty activity to this. And we're going to call this 
I guess we can call it main activity two. Click finish. So now we have a second activity, which is like a second window that has a content view, which is the XML file that's going to show the widgets, the views. So let's go back to our Android manifest file right here. And now you can see we have main activity two has been added. So you have to add a activity node. So later on, we'll go through packages and why we have this syntax right here. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and create a button that that uh, the user can click and take us to main activity two. So inside, what we want to do, go inside the on create of main activity. Go and do that. And actually, we want to go to the main activity. We want to go to activity main XML file because that's exactly where. Why do I keep doing that? That's exactly where the UI components are going to be at. So, so when we launch main activity, you're going to see hello world text view. So what we can do here inside the text view, let's go ahead and change this hello world. Let's just say this is my main activity. Then we want to go outside of the text view and let's go ahead and add a button because this, this button is going to take us to the next uh, window, the activity main activity two that we just added. So go ahead and create a button here. Uh, we can just, I can see for the width, we can match parent and then we will wrap the content. So I'll definitely start it. I'll definitely explain all this to you. It'll make sense as we move forward. Okay. So let's go ahead and give the button ID. You got to go Android ID. So the ID is a way to reference this button in the code. So you have to give it an ID. Let's say, uh, next page so that's the id for that button that we're going to reference from the main activity okay so you should get this you see this red you should get this red error so we will later on get into what constraint layouts are but right now we need to constrain the layout the button vertically and horizontally so uh let's go ahead and put it under let's see well, we need to give our text view an ID also. So let's call it. Let's go. You can go ahead and call this text view. Uh, main, just main text. Go. We're going to keep it as a constraint layout here and constrain it vertically. So we want to go, okay. So you got uh, app layout constraint start to end of just want to go parent. All this will make sense a little bit later. And then we want to go uh, in to end of parent. And we want to go, let's see, top to top of. So I'm constraining the button, the top part of the button to the bottom of the text, the main text. We're gonna go top to bottom. And we select the main text. And as you see, you see the button constrains itself to the bottom of the main text text view that we have up here. <clears throat> so back inside of our main activity, what we want to do here, remember the main activity is a window that's going to display what we have inside of this layout right here, which is uh where we just created our button. So we want to we want to find a way to reference this button from our main activity. That way we can uh, tell it what to do once the user presses the button. So in Android, what you have to do is let's go ahead and reference that text view. We want to go latent it var and let's call it next H. And this is a button what you want to do here uh, so what, what this is you want to import the widget so 
in order for Android to know that we're using the button object, you have to import it in. So you just want to click on there and go alt enter. All this will make sense in a future video. So right now, I just want you to get familiar with how activities work. Uh, so now that we got our next page, which is our button, unlike programming paradigms in which the apps are launched with the main method, see in Android, we use the create method and that's where we're going to launch our first code. So we want to go ahead and uh, go to the next page. So what we want to do is we want to find the view by ID. Remember that ID that we made for our button, which was right here, next page. All we want to do is we're going to want to go to R dot uh, ID. And you see how our ID shows up next page. Now, what, what that did right there was connect our code to our XML button view. Now that we have our connection, what is the button going to do once we press the button? There's a thing that's called the intent, but the intent is basically a way to call uh, another activity. Let's go value intent. We want to enter intent. We want to create a new intent here. We want to declare that it's this context that we're using, which is this main activity context that we're using and now next we want to put the next class that we're going to call the next window like this main activity 2 which is that other window we want to call so we want to go ahead and go main activity 2 two colons class dot java all right so now we have our intent variable ready to go what we need now is we need a uh, a listener for our button a click listener for our button so next page dot so we go set on click listener so inside of the set on click listener you want to go ahead and uh, start an activity choose this start activity we want to throw our intent that we just made in there so inside this on click listener <clears throat> this is listening for click events when the user taps the screen when they tap that button on the screen this is going to fire off so but what we want to do here we want to we want to do the same thing that we have in main activity one which is you see how we <clears throat> we actually have a uh let me see a text view we actually have a text view that's saying that hey this is uh this is my my main activity so let's go ahead and copy and paste this go into the activity main to xml I like to use the split screen. So let's go ahead and paste the text view and let's rename this. Just for the sake of this tutorial, we can just say my text two. So now we zoom in right here. You see, this is my second activity. Now what we can do now is we can go ahead and run the app and we should see uh, the button and we should be able to click on the button and go to our second main activity window. Let's go ahead and see if uh, everything works out. But as you know, in in look, listen, in coding, you got to make sure that you have patience because whatever wants to go wrong is going to go wrong, period. So. All right, so here we go. This is my main activity. Let's go ahead and give it a click. Boom. This is my second activity. So make sure you tune in, get your coffee ready, get your bangs ready, whatever it is you got to do, eat your oatmeal in the morning, meditate, go hit the weights, always tune back in because you know what? You got a code in the future. You got a code, baby.